All right, so it's a funny thing about YouTube. Uh, you never knew who's watching your videos. The other funny thing is you never knew who's going to call you on the phone. And uh, I had one of my old friends call me on the phone, and uh, they were a little disappointed with me. And that always hurts when a friend's disappointed. So uh, I need to make this video. Uh, I built this engine. And a lot of times on this channel, I try to stick to the uh, 1600 stuff. I think the uh, good parts are more available. You can avoid using some of the aftermarket stuff. I, I know this, and that's why I try to uh, tailor my channel to the 1600 or uh, you know 1915 motors, where you could use the uh, factory assembly and. Uh, you know, with some machine work, make the case bigger. But uh, anyway, I was talking to a mentor of mine, and they want me to uh, scrap this motor project. And uh, after talking to him for a while, I think that they have a mallet in what they were telling me. So uh, this is going to get 86th. And I've misled people by telling them that they can use some of the stuff in this motor. And... Uh, you really can't use some of the stuff in this motor and have good luck. I'm expecting failure, and that's the wrong, thing, wrong way to do things. I know better as a person that I shouldn't set myself up for failure. And I did with this engine, using that crank and those rods. So, uh, to uh, suffer less embarrassment that I've already uh, had, I think I'll take this thing apart and uh, 86 that uh, crank and rods and uh, I'm going to try to uh, make an effort not to use these kind of parts on my channel and uh, as my uh, subscriber told me there's plenty of people doing it the wrong way on YouTube we need somebody to show us how to do it the right way so you know coming from the person that told me this uh, it carries a lot of weight and uh, I'm not going to uh, keep building this engine when I know that I'm going to have issues. And uh, know that you'll have issues too if you build something similar to this. So I probably could have made this work if I would have kept the compression really low. And, uh, you know, not use this type of head on here. And, you know, done a couple other things. But I have uh, raised the compression up relatively high. And, uh, you know, I got a lot of cylinder head on there and a lot of camshaft, and it's just going to uh, create havoc. And uh, I'll lose my complete investment if I keep going. So, what I'm going to do is take this back apart. We'll uh, clean all the parts that we're going to use again. Case, cylinder heads, camshaft, gears, oil pump, and we'll buy a new uh, crankshaft and flywheel assembly and a new set of rods and uh, I will make a video of uh, new parts when I get them and uh, I'll make a video of the new build when I rebuild the engine I know there's a lot of guys who have been waiting to see this 2110 put together I've had the parts for a long time and uh, the reason I've had the parts for such a long time is I knew they were no good when they were given to me but uh, you know they were given to me by a friend that uh, sells this stuff, or sold it, he passed away now, and uh, you know, he assured me that they wouldn't break and they would be more than adequate, and uh, you know, probably to 90% of the market out there, they would probably be more than adequate and wouldn't break, but uh, when you plan on torturing it like I am, you're going to have failure, and I know this, I go to the races plenty and see them come apart, so... Rather than suffer any more embarrassment, I guess I'll just order uh, the proper crankshaft and a good set of rods and we'll have a quality motor when it's done instead of uh, a bunch of uh, nice parts wrapped around a shitty part. So hopefully I didn't mislead too many people. A lot of guys know not to use these cranks. Uh, a lot of comments were made during the uh, construction of this motor uh, about other people issues that they've had. and. Uh, I uh, tried to overlook all that, you know, I tried to overlook that the oil holes aren't lined up with the bearing and the counterweights are welded in the wrong position and they hit the middle of the case and 
the rods had to be resized before I could put them on the crank and all that stuff I overlooked and I know better and uh, I can't show you guys how to do something the wrong way so uh, you know the assembly process was all good we measured everything we, we assembled the motor we recorded all our process but the parts just aren't uh, suitable for what we're trying to do here so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take that thing apart I'll pull the crank out I'll order a crankshaft Monday I'll get a set of rods coming and uh, in a week or two we'll get back on the uh, Volkswagen project I'm gonna give the uh, Volkswagen video is a break for a while. I got plenty of stuff to do around here. I need to get on the uh, paint work on the Nova, so I'm probably going to focus on that for a while. I got to get the hood cut in over there. I'm fixing to go over to the uh, car show, Spring Fling, and uh, pick up some uh, <coughs> parts for this. I'm going to see if they have a four link kit over there and a few other things that I need to get back on this car. and. Uh, you know, I said it, I sort of did the same thing for myself with this motor. This is a motor that I never built for anybody but myself, and uh, I got to stop, uh, you know, fucking myself. Uh, I seem to be really good at that, and a lot of people do the same thing. You know, we think we're saving some money, but really all we're doing is cutting the corner and uh, clipping the trailer on the building. So, uh, hopefully, you guys aren't too disappointed. I want to try to, you know, bring you the, the the best possible motor that I can I'm going to put this in a race car and race it and uh, you know I'm not going to be the kind of guy that doesn't take the camera to the track with me and I don't want to be embarrassed when we go racing so I've never been embarrassed to put a race video up in the past and I don't want to be embarrassed to put one up in the future so uh, just to save myself some embarrassment uh, I'm going to go ahead and fix this issue that I've created and I appreciate the subscriber calling and talking to me. It was good to talk to you. I haven't talked to you in probably 20 years. But uh, I do appreciate the consultation. The advice is well taken. And uh, I will drink the water from the lake. So.